What's up, guys? It's Emberti. So I was having a look on Reddit, and I saw this really good post about Pep Guardiola and how to employ his tactics in FIFA 17. So make sure you check out that link in the description. It'll go really in-depth about each and every player, how to play with them. I'm just going to be showing you my team and then talking about some of the player instructions and stuff like that during the game. So in goal, we've got Karius. Reason being is he's a really good shot stopper as well as having good kicking stats. Been able to get it out to the right back and left back. A nice driven pass as well as been able to pick out the target man, Danny Welbeck. We've got John Stones and Chris Smalling. Now, the reason why we've got a high attacking work rate defender is he needs to be going and joining that midfield. We want to be putting that pressure on, stopping them from being able to play that LBY over the top by just closing closing down maybe the center attack in mid or something like that and we've also got Mendy, Matic and Ericsson you want one player who's a box to box in my case Mendy you want him a balanced attack as well as Ericsson uh, on balanced attack your creator and then Matic you want on stay back while attacking so you want one lad who's going to be that solid CDM type player one box to box and one creator you've got left back and right back both on always overlap now the reason being is you want your striker left forward and right forward all on stay central and then they're gonna overlap around the wings creating that space so this is a custom tactic set that i'm currently using it's ever so slightly different to the ones on reddit but it's just slightly more suited for my play style so just going into the games of course we've got christian erickson who seems to be a transformed player once I put that engine chemistry style on him, I don't know why it was. Maybe his dribbling was lacking a little bit, maybe lacking a bit of pace, but he literally was insane. But as you can see there, guys, we had Sane, who was playing quite central, and we get it out wide for Bellerin, who starts off opening up the defense there, and we end up scoring. So literally, the left forward and right forward, one of these players needs to be a creator. So in this case, we've got Pedro, because he's already got really good passing stats and we really did need someone like that in the team. So one of them being a creator. And the other one can be up to you. It can be a physical lad. It can be a dribbler. It's just whatever you feel comfortable with. But make sure with the creator on the pitch, which is Pedro in my case, you want to put false nine and stay central. And then on the other player, you can pick whatever you want. You could just go target man or you could go getting behind or you could have another false nine. But in my case, I did getting behind on Sane and stay central as well as that so we literally got stay central on both the left forward and right forward of course which creates the space for the right back and left back and then striker it said that you need a target man and Danny Welbeck the reason why I went for him is not only is he really cheap but he's got good dribbling he's good strength once you put on a chemistry style which adds a good bit of strength and he can also have some good passing once you add a little bit more passing as well so he just seems to be perfect not the best finisher in the world, but he's just really good for that hold-up play, which is the main point of your striker. He's probably not going to be getting all the goals. So Danny Welbeck is a really cheap and effective option, but I probably will be upgrading ready for the next weekend league. In the last weekend league, I managed to get Elite 3 on two accounts, which means I get six Team of the Week players. So make sure you subscribe if you're new around here, if you want to see the upcoming packs. I think I'll probably drop that video on Thursday. I think they come out on Wednesday night. It really does depend. It's kind of luck of the draw what time they do come out. But as you can see, guys, I'm doing a lot of skill dribbling, just sort of waiting for the chance to open up. And at any time of day, you've got the Luke Shaw and Bellerin, of course, left back, right backs, out on the wings, ready to whip it in, which is one of the reasons why you do need a target man, just because there always is that chance. And Danny Welbeck, lovely turn there and scoring. And at every single game, it's so easy to dominate with these sorts of players on the pitch and being able to give it out to the overlap and stuff like that. And I really am interested to see how this team performs in foot champions. Also, guys, I am going to be continuing the squad elevator series in which we go from 10k to 100k squad builder. In the first one, we did the 10k. We're going to be doing a 20k squad builder. So I'll probably get that uploaded for tomorrow. So if we can hit five likes, that'd be six. Subscribe if you're new around here. And I'll see you on the next M. Birchie episode.